everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this daily quote chalk, this is chalkboard paint here. I'm going to show you how to make the chalkboard paint and then make this canvas that you can write daily quotes on to be inspired for the day. I made this because I'm on Pinterest all the time and they're such good quotes and I literally want to put them all on my wall. But I can't do that because my walls aren't that big. So I wanted to to make like exchangeable ones but I didn't quite know how to do that until I thought of chalkboard paint. Why couldn't I just write one on there every day and then be inspired for the day. So what you're going to need is a canvas. This is 8 by 10 I think. You're going to need some handmade Charlotte stencils. This is the family message center ones. You're going to need some pencil, a pencil and some paint brushes. You're going to need some non-sanded grout, some paint, and a container to put your paint in. Okay. So first, what you're going to want to do is take your non-sanded grout and your paint. We are going to do the background in this purple. You're not going to add grout to this one. I'm just going to put this in this little container here. And the blue is the one we're going to add the grout to. The recipe for this is half a cup. I believe that's like one of these. So a quarter cup of grout. So we're going to just eyeball it, you know, whatever, not a quarter cup of grout, did I say that? I meant a tablespoon of grout. <laughs> Don't know where that came from. So I'm just dumping some in here, you know, maybe a little more. This grout smells really funny. I don't know why. And it reminds me of the smell that I had when my craft room was painted, so maybe wall paint has this in there too. So you're going to put this in here and you're just going to mix it up with your paintbrush. It's going to get thicker, but you'll still be able to paint with it. You can kind of see the chunks almost. And this also is going to allow you to have a really cool texture in your quote bubble. I thought it was pretty cool. Okay, so once that's all mixed up, have that, and you have this. I'm going to take your canvas and some cutouts from here. And we're going to arrange these how we want them on our canvas. I want my cloud up here. I want these kind of like this, I think. Okay. And then I'm going to trace these real fast. Okay, now that that's all traced out, you're going to take your background paint, which I'm using this purple color, and you're going to paint your canvas. I think you're going to want to outline this with a regular paintbrush. I found this to be easier, but I think I'm going to paint the majority of it with a foam brush so you don't see all the brush strokes. Okay, so now I have finished the first coat and he tried it so I'm going to add a second coat and you're going to be able to see just how much better this looks like instantly with barely any paint you can really fix it up in the second second coat look how much better you can tell this has a second coat this doesn't alright so I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick Once your second coat is done, you're going to come in 
with your chalkboard paint. Okay, and there you have it. You have a nice quote canvas that you can hang up and then just take some water and a rag and change your quote every day to inspire you, your friends, your family, anyone that comes to your home. Alrighty, now I just want to show you how easily this comes off. I have just some pledge multi-purpose. You can also have water. I just don't have that in my craft room right now. Okay, and look like perfect. If you can see the texture that it really gives it. Can you see that after it dries? It's really cool. Alright, there you go. It comes off nice and clean and every day you can just have a new quote. Thanks for joining us and make sure to check out the blog post. On the blog post there are going to be a list of suggested quotes that I really found that I liked, but obviously you can make up and use whatever you want.